Yes, hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. If it's your first time to come across this channel, please support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to check on my TikTok account where I always give the updates of what is happening. Grab the link, we look at Qatar itself. Remember, we are looking at the FIFA World Cup. Uh, jobs have been created, opportunities for those that have shared the opportunities and those that have not had the opportunities of the World Cup. There are still so many uh, events that are coming on. We have the Expo. Doha, that is 2023. We have the Asian Cup, this also will be in Qatar. So you still have a global, a lot of opportunities to share or to come in this country and have something for yourself at the end of it all. In today's video, we are going to look at changing jobs in Qatar. I think that's a question that has been asked by very many people, changing jobs. But the question is that, what is the right time for you to change job? Yes, when we are changing jobs from one another, it may be for very many reasons. Some may want to change job because of the salary, may want to have a higher salary in one way or the other. Someone else may change job because he feels he wants to, to get to another level, change career, or to do something that is else, something else apart from what he has been doing. Then we look at itself. Uh, the environmental situation may also make you change job in one way or the other. So when we try to consider all those factors, Yes, you have a right to change. And remember, you can change job without NOC. So long as you follow the procedure. To some companies, they may not give you NOC. But still, even if they don't give you NOC, you have another way to go out. So what may be or what is the perfect time for you to change job? That is the question of discussion right now. That's what we need to understand. Yes. First of all, before you think of changing job, I think the perfect time to change, one, is you first knowing, is your company going to give you NOC or not? If that company is going to give you NOC or the no objection certificate and you have an offer letter from another company, yes, you are willing to give in the notice period, alert them you changing to a new employer, then you move on. What about a situation whereby this company is not willing to give you NOC? That should also come into your mind as you are planning to change. Because it should be part of the decisions that you are supposed to take to see how better you get through whatever you are planning or how better you make your line of stimulation or moving to a new job without you having to have regrets in one way or the other. You know, this is something that you need to plan ahead of you. Yes, if, it is, if this company does not give you NOC, what are you supposed to do? Alert the new employer who has given you an offer later. Speak out to him, that's the human resource from uh, the company willing to hire. Tell them, my company will not give you NOC, but if you can give me a return visa, then probably that would be a, a good idea. Remember, you cannot get a visa when you have a visa within the country. You need to first exit. So meaning that when you, you exit, they will be willing to give you another visa to re-enter the country. Then something else. Don't move because of the friends, what we call the bandwagon effect. Know who you are. Know what you want. Where you want to go. And what are your plans. What are your targets and what are your objectives is quite very important before you, you think of changing. Yes, if you think where you are going is what going to, what's going to make you meet your targets or your plans at one way or the other, then you can move on. That is a very good way you move. So that means it's going to be that right time for you to change to a new job. Look at salary itself. If the new company is willing to give you a much higher salary compared to what you're earning, and you really feel, feel that you can accept and that amount of money given to you or that will be given to you, that will be able to accommodate you and finish up whatever you are planning, then probably it's the right time for you to move. Move on. Because at the end of it all, we are all looking at something that is bigger that can help us solve our problems. And that is the reason that we are why we work. And that is the reason why we came to work. Because 
No one of us would want to see his family would want to see himself in the same status in the same status than before. So if you think that salary that is being offered to you is much bigger and is good for you, then move on. It is the right time for you to change your. Still something else you need to uh, understand or you need to look out is the environment itself. The situation, the part of the situation in the country when there are no jobs, there are no hirings. Companies are not hiring. Companies are sticking to what they have. So, meaning at that time, you cannot risk yourself. You cannot risk yourself resigning from the former company. Because definitely the perfect thing would be that you resign when you definitely have an offer later within the country. It would be a very good idea. But you can't resign by not even knowing where you are going. Then that is not a perfect time. That environment around is always very important. Because at the same time, we are looking at that environment. We also have to look at that season that is favorable. Imagine you changing from one job to another during the Ramadan period. What could it be? You definitely expect to blind out. Why? Because we know all that Ramadan, the working hours are always reduced to six hours. Meaning that some of the employers, in some of the employees in companies are either lead of uh, uh, or either on vacation or some work from home so meaning that that is not a favorable season for you to resign from your current company uh, from your former company to go out to look for a job to begin meandering outside there so that will not be a very good idea for you so looking at all that you definitely either choose it's the right time or not the right time. Something else we need to understand to, to, to make sure that we don't fall culprits of any way or the other is that try to read where you are going. If it is this the new company, try to research about the company you are going to. Yes, try to know whether it's a good company. Try to know whether it's a bad company compared to where you're coming from. We have a lot of information from the social media. We can try to gather that information that can help us, give us a clear picture of where we are going and which company we are going to, we are going to work for. Because we all need those companies that care about uh, the, 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 the life or the welfare of the employees. Where the employees are calculated or are part as the assets of that company. So try to research more of that company that you are going to, then it will be a right time for you to change that job. Then something else you need to change is change what kind of profession you are going, you are going to, which kind of profession you want to go to. Yes, I understand. You might have been a security guard and you want to be a manager. Yes. Yes, you want to be a manager in a dual job or you want to ask a job in another company as a manager. Do you have the credentials for that? Do you have the experiences? Yes, in case for that situation and there's a job that is advertised and you think you can, get through all the roles, get through all the requirements. But if you, if you definitely feel you have the requirements, press in. Submit your credentials or submit your application to that company. You never know might why come. So make sure that whatever profession you want to change to or the new job that you want to change to should be able to elevate your status. Should be able to give you a high amount of money. Should be that job that is going to make you part of develop or part of your career, move your career in a different direction. That is what we have to understand. Then something else we need to understand is where you are going. Is there career development at all? Most of us or most of you would not want to be in one position. You not want to be the same from year to year. You want to see yourself developing. You want to see yourself go to another level. Build yourself or build yourself your career in another direction. That is going to help you out. 
that is going to benefit you. So if you think the new job you want to go or the new company you are going to will be able to utilize your skills, develop you, give you the opportunities to grow, then it is the right time for you to move on. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. If it's your first time, please support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. You'll always be updated wherever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It's Max from the Max Creation TV.